What if we were really worshiping right before the throne? What if you were really there? Would it change the way you worship Him? If you could see Him in all of His glory and His holy array? (sighs) See Him high and lifted up? The cloud of glory just, just encasing and enveloping Him. And the brightness of His shining. The four living creatures bowing down before Him. And all the angels flying back and forth. The seraphim and the cherubim crying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Worthy, worthy, worthy is the Lamb that was slain. The truth is you're already there. We are there. That realm is, is, is here. It's like two... There's multiple realms that take up that are the, together. It's like different dimensions, but it's all the same. They're just overlaid on top of each other. It depends on which realm you're engaging with, which realm you're focused on and you're aware of. But that's where we are. And... Um, the Lord was speaking to me. <clears throat> he loves to speak in numbers. And I was hearing the number 12 and the number 22. And I know what the 22s are and the 12s are. I know some of it. I, you know, I don't know everything. But I know the 22s are his, his, are his Aleph Bait, the alphabet, uh, the living letters of light that, that are the Word, the Word of God. They are, they are the DNA of all of creation. Thank you, Father. They're the building blocks. They are what he, he... In the ancient teachings of the Hebrews, Genesis 1.1, and it's there. It's in, it's in the Hebrew, in the original writing. In the beginning, God created. Then it says what? The heavens and the earth. Well, there's two letters in the beginning, Bereshit, God, Elohim, created is the word for is, or Elohim is powers. It's like multi, it's a um, it's the plural form of God. Man. It's plurality. Elohim by his powers created, and then there's this this word, and. They don't know what it is. They don't. I mean, they know what it is, but they don't know. It's not in the translation. They don't know how to translate. It. It's just there's just two letters, a little two-letter word between created and heavens, and it's an aleph and a bait, the aleph bait, the alphabet. So the ancient sages teach God created the aleph bait, and then made the heavens and the earth. That's why they're the building blocks. That's why we need to know Hebrew some the 22 living letters he created out of him came the 22 living letters which was the fullness of his word and then it began to manifest the word began to manifest in the natural he created the heavens and the earth can you see that that's how god did it that's the power of creation and we have that same power in our mouth to create Because when God spoke heaven and earth into existence, what did it say? Every time God said, let there. So we create with our mouth. When we speak what He is saying, we need to expect creation. Creation to take place. An explosion of creative, creative power to come forth. We should expect something in this realm to change. Right before our very eyes. So that's the 22 and 12 is the fullness of his government. 12 is the Lamed, is the flying tower soaring into the heavenlies. It's ascension. It's the aspirations of our heart being fulfilled. It's the fullness of government, the 12 tribes. 12 apostles 12 baskets full 
There's a lot of twelves. And so the Lord said, read Hebrews twelve twenty two. I didn't I didn't I heard him say a scripture and I didn't even realize it was twelve and twenty two. It just didn't register, you know. I'm a little slow sometimes. So I want to read that. Because this is where we are. Don't stop playing. Ooh, man, you feel that? Feel that come in the room? I felt that shift. <laughs> Whoa, so there's some veils and scales coming off. You feel that shift? Man, I feel that wind on that. There's a wind on that music. That's the breath of God. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I'm just saying. Thank you, Father. Mm. I could get lost in that. I'm supposed to read this. But I want to get into that. Oh, I'm going to do both. But ye are come. You are come. We are come. That, that's present tense. We are. We have. We're there right now. We have come unto Mount Zion. That's the mountain of God in heaven. That's the mountain is the government. That's the governmental position. The governmental mountain. The governmental rulership. The governmental authority and power of Almighty God. yod Hey vav Hey. And we've come to that mountain. We're there now. And unto the city of the living God, the new Jerusalem. It's in heaven. I've seen it. One of these days, I'm going to go walk through it. Come on, we're there. It's what it says. The heavenly Jerusalem. It's in heaven first and then it manifests on the earth. Do you know that? On earth as it is in heaven. That's why you were in heaven first. And now you're here and you're supposed to be here as you were in heaven. That's why God's bringing a transformation and change. It's your first sermon, I guess. And to an innumerable, innumerable means you can't number them. Impossible to number the company of angels. Impossible to count all the angels that are for us. Everybody likes to talk about the demons that are against us. What about all the innumerable, the innumerable company of angels? Uh, so you can number the, the number of demons. Oh, what if God's creating angels every day, new ones all the time? What if they're just exploding like all of creation? <laughs> That's why they're innumerable because they never it never stops. To the general assembly and church of the firstborn. We are no pastor. I'm here. I'm in church. No, it's talking about the heavenly church. It's talking about Zion in heaven. Jerusalem in heaven, the church in heaven. <laughs> to the, we're, we're in the general assembly right now in heaven. There's one church, heaven and earth together, of the firstborn, which is Jesus Christ, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all. Mm. Mm, I like that. You know, our daddy is the judge of all. Uh, uh, my father's the judge over all. We kind of got an inside track here, guys. We do get some favoritism. Because <laughs> our daddy's the judge of all. <laughs> Unto the spirits of just men made perfect. How many million of those are there? Mm, over the ages they're real they're alive see we're there with them we're spirit their spirit and we're one spirit with him there's no separation there's no distance there's no denial there's no delay it's all now say now it's all now can you see them you can talk to them you can hug them they can pray for you Jesus can touch you you can see the Father. Oh, you can enter into that worship of heaven 
which is what we're doing. You see, Rex is just hearing in heaven what, what the music of heaven, and he's playing it here. It's called the prophetic. And to Jesus, we're, unto, we're come unto Jesus right now, now, the mediator of the new covenant. And to the blood, whoa, to the blood. Ah, I'm covered in the blood. How about you? I'm washed in the blood. I've received the blood. The blood is in me. His blood flows through me. Hmm. Sprinkling that speaks better things than that of Abel. See that you refuse not him that speaks. Whoa, we better have ears to hear. For if they escape not who refused him that spake on earth, much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaks from heaven. Whose voice then shook the earth, but now, say now, now he has promised, saying, Yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word yet once more signifies or is a sign. Say a sign. There's a sign. There are signs. There are signs in the heavens and there are signs in the earth that are speaking to us. Signs, the removing of those things that are shaken as of things that are not, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. In other words, the shakings, the signs are pointing to what God is removing because it's not of Him. He didn't build it. He didn't make it. He's not the father or the author of it. And those things are going to be removed. And those things are going to be removed out of you. And they're going to be removed for you and before you. God's going to remove every stumbling block. God's going to remove every wall. God's going to remove every partition. God's going to remove every voice that is not His voice. God is going to tear down every word that is not His word. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom. Say, we receiving. We are receiving now. Receiving now. Receiving now a kingdom. We already have the kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace. Uh, grace. Five. Grace. Five. Seven. 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 The time that we're in in the earth. We're in this time space called five. Seven. 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 That's the Hebrew year. 2016 going into 2017. But it's really five. Seven. 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 Because that wasn't just a, that wasn't a Jewish calendar. That was God's calendar. That was God's time. Those were God's seasons. We serve God. Let us have grace. This is what grace is for. That we may serve God acceptably. With reverence. And godly fear. That's what grace is for. So that we can serve Him with reverence. And godly fear. Because our Father is awesome. For our God is a consuming fire.